Let's talk about the possibility for technology to bring about an end to ageing. Perhaps by as early as 2040, low-cost therapies will be widely available that reliably undo the damage of ageing. We won't just look younger, in a very real sense our bodies will be younger, will be more vibrant, more resilient, will bounce back more quickly from many upsets, will be less prone to disease, less prone to dying. I first came across these ideas more than 15 years ago. My professional background includes 25 years in the mobile computing and smartphone industries. As head of research, it was my role to keep an eye on people's ideas of trends for the future of technology and how technology could impact all aspects of human life. And in that time, I came across the ideas of people like Cambridge University researcher Aubrey de Grey and the American futurist Ray Kurzweil, both of whom in various ways talked about the possibility of reprogramming not just our software in our computers, but the biology that operates inside our bodies. And as a result of that, we bring about a rejuvenation. I have to say, at first I was pretty sceptical. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary amounts of evidence. But since that time, I've looked into this more and more deeply. And I have to say, there are lots of important trends, which means that we'll have many more medical tools at our disposal sooner rather than later. I've learned about the possibilities for nanotechnology, for genetic re-engineering, including CRISPR, which has been in the news a lot recently. I've learned about stem cell therapies, about 3D printing of replacement body parts, and I've learned about the tremendous capability of artificial intelligence powered by study of big data to understand the relations between biological processes much more quickly, much more powerfully than before. I add all that together, and I think actually it is credible that the abolition of aging is within our grasp. That's the question of, is it possible? The other question that is on people's minds is, is this desirable? Would it be good for society? Would it be good for the human species? Would it be good for the planet as a whole if aging no longer took place? So I've looked at both these questions. I've written at length about them in my recent book called The Abolition of Aging, the forthcoming radical extension of healthy human longevity. It's my pleasure to share the highlights of these ideas with audiences and groups of people around the world. In these talks, I don't just repeat the content of my book. I also like to bring audiences bang up to date with the most recent fascinating, interesting research that I've come across. And there's a great deal going on. And I like to look at the possibilities for us as individuals. What should we do differently as a result? So if you'd like to find out more, search for me online. My name is David Wood, and I look forward to seeing you at one of my presentations shortly. Thank you very much.